I... I don't understand. How... Hello, Iku. It's a pleasure to meet you. How, how do you know my name? Why do you look... It's alright. Just... Let me explain everything. From the very beginning. In the distant past, and in an even more distant galaxy, there was a planet. Humans inhabited this planet, a lot like you and I. It's quite hard to summarize the events leading up to where our story begins, but I'll just say this. If you give humanity the power to destroy the world, they will. A certain organization launched a project to find a new frontier for humanity. There wasn't enough time to secure safety, but a shot in the dark was better than total extinction. For better chances of survival, the population was split into 20 teams. The Replica Project. It was thought the project was called that because the lead scientists hoped to replicate their home planet elsewhere. Only a select few knew the true meaning behind the name, but I'm getting ahead of myself. It took years of space travel to reach the new frontiers. Some teams didn't even make it that far. It's said that once they did reach the new frontier, some colonies thrived while others failed. But a large-scale, unknown astronomical event occurred in that corner of the universe, and... No one knows what happened to them after that. Luckily, our part of the story didn't take place in that corner of the universe. I mentioned earlier that not all teams made it to the new frontier. Well, one team in particular was swept away from the rest of the group due to unforeseen circumstances, but this turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Because, you see, they succeeded. This unexpected course landed Ship 19 on a planet much like the one they departed from. It wasn't perfect, but the conditions were good enough to call home, and they called it R-19. R for replica and 19 after their team number. But... but that's... Yes, the very planet we are on now, and where you were born. But this was long, long before you ever existed. The lead scientists from the replica project overlooked the population as they multiplied and adapted over a few million generations, as humanity evolved to age slowly and breathe proficiently in thin R19 air. Societies flourished, governments formed, and conflicts rose, burst, and fell. Implementing new rules and technology to ensure R19 didn't fold from within, the scientists upheld the Replica Project's name and honor, hoping to someday come in contact with the other teams they lost in the vast sea that is space. These scientists passed down their ambitions to their descendants, who passed it down to theirs, until eventually, they became known as what you all call the Known. You look surprised. Tell me, what brought you here to the archives? You were sent on a mission by the Resistance, right? I have no obligation to answer you. I will answer for you then. With enough time, everything that once had meaning becomes meaningless. On present day R19, the origins of this planet and the prayers of our ancestors have no significance to its people. Humanity is destined to repeat history, because where there are humans in power, there is corruption. The known were exempt from the annual endowment to the council. So, I spent my childhood completely ignorant of the plight of R-19. You see, my parents were both members of the Known. I never questioned my role in this society. I assumed it was simply the way things were. Growing up, the only thing I cared about was my favorite picture book, The Lonely Princess and the Tall Tree. I would daydream all day playing make-believe that I was the princess from the story, strolling the meadows of Earth, where clouds roam the sky. By the time I finally opened my eyes to the truth, countless people had become victims to the hypersleep syndrome. 
It's hard to express in words the anguish I felt when the realization hit. I didn't know what to do. But I knew I couldn't stay in the known. The likes of me were not welcome in the resistance. They would never accept someone that had ties to the known. So I assumed a fake identity. Some might call me a spy. But for me, it was simply a means of fitting in, because the Resistance is where I felt I belonged. I agreed with what the Resistance stood for and aimed to accomplish, but I didn't agree with their methods. Nonetheless, I became a pawn in their game, and it wasn't long before I was sent out on missions that risked an ending much worse than hypersleep. But I persevered, because there was no turning back. Until one day, I rose to the ranks high enough to be assigned a mission that could only be entrusted to me. The mission was to infiltrate the Known's archive to steal data that could help the Resistance gain power in R-19. Breaking into the archive building was too easy for a former Known member, but instead of heading straight towards the data I came for, I turned my heels towards the historical archive instead. There was something I desperately wanted to know. When I reached the room, a figure started to approach me. I thought I had been caught, but as the stranger stepped out from the shadows, I was surprised to see a girl who looked exactly like me. And... And that brings us to now. But... You just described... My life. Up until this very moment. That's right. It's also my life. Or at least a part of it. It does vary a little depending on the timeline. You are... Me? Yes. Specifically, I am you from another dimension. And a little older, but that's not that important. <laughs> I came here to pass the baton to you. Iku. The baton? I know this is overwhelming, but I've come here to take your place. I'll hand you all the data I've collected, and you will pick up where I left off. You will travel back in time to continue my research. But... But, but why? Because this... This is the true purpose of the Replica Project. I... I'm your replica, Iku. We are to keep this chain going no matter what. It's our destiny. There are 19 others just like us. We don't know where they are or what happened to them. Maybe you will encounter one of them in your timeline. But we all have the same mission. To become living human archives of humanity. I... I don't understand. It's okay, I didn't understand this at first either. But trust me, figuring this all out is part of the journey. You... you are right, this... This is all so overwhelming. Iku, you were tasked to steal data specifically to help aid the Resistance quest to dismantle the hypersleep system. And yet you came here, in the historical archives. Why is that? I wanted to find the author of the storybook, the same one you mentioned earlier, the one I loved so much as a child. It resonated with me so much, and yet no one knows who wrote it. I thought that I could find some information here, and I wanted to find them. I'll tell you where you can find them. But, but where? Huh? Right here. She's you, Iku. But, but, but how can that be? Timelines work in mysterious ways, truly beyond human comprehension. Uh, I... I told you that R-19 originated from survivors from another planet, right? I yes. That planet was Earth, Iku. And that's where you're headed to now. 
Uh, I thought that was just a fictional planet from the storybook. That's what I thought too. Until I saw it for myself. The world from the storybook we always dreamed of seeing with our very own eyes. The clouds, the flowers, the music, and the ugly, and the beauty of humanity. It's your turn to see it all, Iku. It's your turn to write the story. <sighs> okay. What do I have to do? I'm going to give you this watch. It's... A very important gift from a very important friend of mine. And to you too. Although you haven't met her yet. Anyways, we are going to trade clothes and you are going to hijack one of the spaceships stored in the council hall basement and navigate your ship to this specific coordinate. When you enter a time warp, the watch will send you to the timeline you need to go to. Whoa, 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 wait. I barely know how to drive a spaceship. Me neither. Get ready for a rough landing. What? You can catch up on the rest by reading the data I've collected. Whatever you do, don't turn back. If you get caught, our whole operation will be compromised. But... Uh, what's gonna happen to you? Don't worry. I'll be fine. Now go. We don't have much time. Uh, uh okay. It could wait. Yes? Tell Ollie and Nano I said hi. 